Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss about the event binding in Angular 15. In the previous video, where we have discussed about the other one we data binding like string interpolation, property binding, and attribute binding. Just similar to that, event binding is also a one way data binding, means we can communicate between the component and the HTML in the one way only. Now, you, as the name says, event binding means like on like we are going to bind a event like that event can be any DOM element click event like for an example button click event or mouse click event so such kind of the things like we call it as an event binding so how we can bind that event in our angular side that we are going to see in this video even in the previous videos we have seen couple of the like uh, operations like when we were doing the drop down event like drop down uh, select event here the example it's showing as in button click event so now let's understand it with an example so this is the visual studio if you want to in the simple way let's understand first the, uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to take one button here now in this button i want to attach a click event just like i have shown here like in this button then click so this event name will always be in the brackets and then equal to then we have to give the event name so this show data is basically you know, like this text is basically this method we have to define inside the component side so that way so let's define it so what I'm going to do first break it then click event I'm going to do and here this method name will be the show alert now here this is the method so we have defined that way show alert message now this method we have to define it is giving the error because we didn't define it yet in the component side so let's define it and here what i'm going to do alert i am .NET office so when you will save it and go on the browser you will see a button when i'll click on this we will see i'm a .NET office so what we are doing we have attached a click event to this one similar to that if i want to take another now for an example i'm taking another button and i'm saying show sum and here i'm saying show sum of number so this i'm going to show and here what i'm taking i'm taking one p here that is the paragraph and sum is and this value i will define here so basically what I'm trying to do, I'm going to create a one method here that is the show sum just like this. So here I will define a one method that is the show sum and inside this one what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the number. Now for an example, first let's take a one variable also that is the sum and I'm going to take as a number and I'm assigning as a zero. So this sum is basically we will show here. Now when i'll go and here what i'm going to do this dot sum is equal to 10 plus 20. this i have done now let's save it save this one go on the browser here you will see sum is zero because we didn't click on this when i will click on this it will automatically become 30. so if you will refresh and check in starting it is zero when i'll click on this it become 30. so again the click event is happening here now if you want any other uh, like event so like in the previous uh, video we have seen about the drop down and that is the color event drop down so here if you will see so this is the select event here is the change event of this drop down and that is the set color now this method we have to define so this example we already have seen in the previous example where we were learning about the ng switch case so there we have seen so this is the drop down i have defined here we have defined the change and this is the event and that event we have to define here and here what i'm going to do i'm going to just say this color so alert and this value i will show in the alert box now let's save it you save this one and go in the browser and if you will select from here red so r because it takes the value blue it is b so basically it takes the value the value we have defined r g b d so this is the way basically i am trying to say is to attach any event 
to the HTML and the component set, um, we use the event binding and the event, whatever you are trying to attach, we have to put inside the small brackets like this. So this is about the event binding in Angular. So that's it for this video. If you have any question and doubt, please comment. Thank you.